just got done with the last set over here. Um, this tree stand here, it's not very high off the ground. We were actually able to get it with just three sticks. Um, but because of the top cover and the bottom cover and just where it's at in particular, um, I see this being kind of an open field thing, uh, hoping that the deer are kind of looking more at what's in the field. That's, you know, not necessarily what's in the timber, but every once in a while you can get away with uh, getting pretty low on the ground. I've seen it done before. So that's it for today. Um, I've got one set to hang tomorrow over in Chemic and check cameras over there, but definitely got a lot knocked out today and I'm super happy with what was accomplished. So. had some good cold fronts coming in here lately but um, getting a little bit of a south wind today it's a little it's a little warmer so I decided to pick this edge on a field edge because I can I can actually glass a bunch of fields it's kind of an observation set and I can see a lot but also I've got a lot of interior stuff over here and I've got a few shooting lanes trimmed out. I actually hunted this spot a lot back in 2017 and came really really close on a nice 70 class deer. Uh, ended up getting winded and that seems to be the story of my life. I get right on that ragged edge of the wind and I just wasn't fast enough and didn't uh, didn't get drawn on him. I didn't give myself that chance but man it was close. <laughs> seen him three times or we saw three spikes the same size right around the I mean if you give him an inside spread credit of four inches and two and two mass measurements are probably somewhere around five sixteenths of an inch it's not very not very good so we're gonna go ahead and get down um, I'm thinking good old Casey's pizza might just hit the spot and then probably try to come back out here maybe around noon with some warmer temps midday movement I mean there's no morning movement whatsoever so midday movement can't be any worse
that's the first legitimate chasing you know that we've uh, that we've seen here on this property that's a good sign we're starting to see some of that chasing activity just haven't really seen it you know we've seen some daylight bucks here and there but you know I can't say that we've seen any hard chasing on this property you know a year ago today it was like literally like there was tannerite was set off right in the middle of the property and every buck got it got blown up just exploded everywhere it's good to see things are kicking off and uh, it's definitely good for morale whenever you've been sitting a long time staring at a blank field of nothing there's a deer right here It's getting, it's getting frustrating. That's enough of that. Meh. Oh 
Oh my gosh. That shot felt good. Good solid hit. It sounded like he got down there in the bottom and was just making all kinds of noise, I think, because he was he was crashing, he was going down. He was trying to keep going and just kept falling over and falling over and trying to get back up. What a freaking season, man. Oh my gosh, it has been the most crazy season. I said in the last interview, I just could not seem to get it right this year. He turned and started working his way back up this way self-filming today man that is such a pain with the dslr okay <sighs> i'm gonna slip down here and just go check this arrow it's driving me crazy hey you guys are coming along for the ride with me i've been self-filming today so we're gonna self-film the recovery right here. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, here he is. <sighs> Time to get this thing out of here. Although every year has its own challenges, this year in particular was one with things beyond my control. Although at the end of the year, I finished it exactly how I started, on my own. <laughs>